Assalamu alaikum. Good morning. How are you today, my lovely students? I hope you're doing well. It's a new week and a new day. And also, we have a new lesson. Our lesson for today will be about reading comprehension. But before starting our lesson, let's read the day and date. So, as I said to you so far, today is the first day of the week. It's Sunday. Sunday, May 31, 2020. By the way, today is the last day of May. 31, as you can see. May 31. Tomorrow, we're going to start a new month. So what? is the month that comes after May. Who's going to help me to answer this? It's June, correct! I am so proud of you. So everyone, today we're going to learn a new skill. That's why I want you to be focused and to listen carefully. Before starting the lesson, let's do some actions. Okay, everyone, I want you to put your hands in the air and clap your hands three times. One, two, three, and shout. Let's get started. Well done. Thank you for following. Okay, so let's learn a new thing today or let me say a new skill. So everyone, by the end of the lesson, you will be able to identify key ideas and details about a main idea. So what does this mean? Let's learn together. Are you ready to learn? Yes, I know you are the best and you're always ready. So let's read what's written over here. The main topic is the subject or big idea of a selection. A main idea is the most important idea in a section of text, supporting details tell more about the main ideas. So everyone, let me explain to you. So when I say that I want you to look for the main idea of a story, let's say. How you are going to do this, or the main topic, or supporting details. So let me start with the main topic. The main topic is the subject or the big idea of the story. So when the writer writes a story, he writes about idea or a big idea and after that he's going to add a lot of details so we can understand what is he writing about and today we're going to learn how to find out the main topic the main idea and to understand what are the supporting details so let me talk about the main idea the main idea will help us to understand what are we reading. So everyone, when you read a story, you need to ask yourself a question when you are looking for the main idea. The question is, what is the main point the author or the writer of the story wants us to know? So everyone, let's talk about some strategies that will help us to find the main idea easily. First of all, you need to look at the title of the story. Usually, the title is written on the cover page. So maybe the title of the story will give you a clue about the main idea. And let me say something about supporting details. Supporting details tell more about the main idea. 
the main idea of the text. So let me show you now something will help you to understand more. So everyone, I want you to look over here. There is something important I want to talk about. Okay, so let's start. Let's read what's written over here. On the move. Trains, buses, and cars go on land. Trains run on tracks. Buses and cars drive on roads. Many people travel by car. So everyone, let's read it carefully one more time. So take your time, stop the video, and read it. Be the first Heart. Excellent reading! Well done! So everyone, as you can see, in the first line, we said that trains, buses and cars go on land. So this is the main idea. We're talking about three means of transportation. After that, we said train runs on tracks, buses and cars drive on roads, many people travel by car. So the first line introduced the main idea. Okay, so the main idea here is in the first line. After that, we started to talk in details about these means of transportation so as you can see here is the main idea and look at the three lines over here as you can see these are the supporting details that when i say supporting details it means it will help us to understand more what is the main idea so let's move to read the second part. Ships go on water. Small boats sail through, through lakes and rivers. Big ships sail across the sea. So everyone, I want you to stop the video for a while and to read the second part. Wow, excellent reading everyone. I am so proud of you. So as you can see that the first line introduced the main idea, right? Right everyone. And as you can see the second and the third line are supporting the main idea. Okay, so let's go to the last Part. I need your help to read. So are you going to help me? Wow, I know that you are going to help me to read. So let's read together, my lovely readers. Airplanes fly in the air. Airplanes are very fast. People travel all around the world in airplanes. Where would you like to go? So look at the first line and you will know that this line introduced the main idea. Airplanes fly in the air. We are talking about airplanes in general. After that, if we read the second, third and fourth line, we can see that these lines supported the main idea. So what we are going to do now is to read two texts and we will try to find out the main ideas as well as the supporting details. Yes, you can do it because you are the smartest. Okay, task number one, what we are going to do is to read. So, I need your help. 
I want you to help me. I know you are going to do it. You are the best. So let's read. Here is the title. So let's start with the title. Let's play basketball. Basketball is a game in which two teams try to score against one another. Each team has five players. To play, you need a basketball and two 10-foot high hoops or baskets. You also need a long area called a court. Points are scored when one team shoots the basketball through the hoop. The team with the most points at the end of the game wins. Okay, so let's read these questions together. What is the main idea in the second paragraph? So, this is the second paragraph. I want you to read it one more time and then find the main idea. So, write one detail about the main idea. Okay, I'm going to give you some time everyone. Read the text again. Focus on the second paragraph. Write one detail about the main idea. So let me read it one more time. To play, you need a basketball and two 10 foot high hoops or baskets. You also need a long area called a court. So please. Get some papers and also grab some pencils and try to answer the question. Question number one. Question number two. What is the main idea of the third paragraph? This is the third one. Let's read it one more time. Let's do it. Points are scored when one team shoots the basketball through the hoop. The team with the most points at the end of the game wins. So, what is the main idea? Write it down. Okay, and after that, write one detail about this main idea. I'm going to give you some time to do this. After that, we're going to check out the answers together. So, stop the video for a while. Try to read the text carefully and answer the questions. Here we go. So, everyone, let's check our answers. So, the main idea in the second paragraph, what you need to play basketball so if you decided to play a basketball what is the things that you need and the detail here you need a basketball and two hoops or baskets so if you go back to the second paragraph you can see this clearly to play, you need a basketball and two 10-foot high hoops or baskets. You also need a long area called a court. So, in this paragraph, we are, or the writer of the text, okay, trying or is trying to tell us what do we need to play basketball. Now, let's move to question number two. What is the main idea of the third paragraph? How a team scores points. Well done. You wrote the same? I am so proud of you today. So, the third paragraph or the writer in the third paragraph is talking about how a team scores points and the detail is here 
Points are scored when one team shoots the basketball through the hoop. So go back and read it one more time. So let's read it together. Points are scored when one team shoots the basketball through the hoop. The team with the most points at the end of the game wins. Thank you for helping. One more text left. So let's do it together. And this will be our last task for today. You are doing great. I am so happy that you are following. So let's read the text together. Are you ready? I know that you are ready. You are always ready everyone. So let's get started. I am a sea sponge. I am a sea sponge. I live in the ocean. I look like a plant but I am an animal. I can be many colors. I do not eat like most plants. Water passes through me. I eat tiny things that live in the water. I have many uses. I help clean the house. I help you wash too. Excellent reading. So let's answer these questions together. And again, we're going to look for the main idea and the supporting details. Okay, so what is the main idea in the second paragraph? So I want you to go to the second paragraph and read it one more time. Stop the video for a while, read the second paragraph and try to find the main idea and also write one detail about the main idea. Take your time. Have you done it everyone? Excellent. So now let's move to number two. What is the main idea in the third paragraph? So go to the third paragraph, try to find the main idea and then write one detail about this main idea. Take your time everyone. Stop the video for a while. And after that, let's check the answers together. So here we go. What is the main idea in the second paragraph? How sea sponges eat. And about the detail here, sea sponges eat tiny things in the water. So let's go back over here, check again. I don't eat like most plants. Water passes through me. I eat tiny things that live in the water. It's correct. Thank you for helping. Let's go and read question number two or check the answer. Let's check the answer. So the answer is sea sponges have many uses. Okay, we can use them in many ways. This is the main idea and the support detail is over here. You can use a sea sponge to clean the house. Yeah, that's true, right everyone? Your mom is using the sponge usually to clean the house, right? Okay, so, so thank you everyone for following me today. We are done. So, see you later in the math class. Bye, my lovely students.